This is the live room to our SSL EG series console, um, where students are currently doing some drum recordings. Um, it's a nice isolated space specific to the studio, so we don't share the live rooms between the control rooms, so sessions can be going on everywhere at the same time. Uh, students do drum recordings in here, um, mm -hmm. learn mic techniques for mono and stereo recordings, recording of drums, how to get the best sound for different styles of music and so on. Um, and then they, at the same time, learn to use the console, mm -hmm. the SSL, um, and how to effectively use their studio time, mm -hmm. because studio time is pretty expensive, it's constantly getting more expensive. There are fewer and fewer studios there, because a lot of the smaller ones are shutting down, um, and so effective use of studio time is a very important thing for the industry. Um, and that's one of the things that they learn here. This is the SSL control room, um, which we saw from the uh, live room a second ago. Um, it consists of an SSL E-Series console, a Pro Tools HD system, an analog tape machine, and various outboard gear, as you would typically find it in a studio of that kind of caliber in the industry. You could introduce a sync problem here if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. There's a for example, there's an analog tape machine here, mm -hmm. and there's a Pro Tools system. Mm -hmm. If you run them in conjunction with one another, then you could, by incorrectly setting it up, introduce quite severe sync problems, <laughs> which which can be fun as well. Uh -huh. I mean, you if know, you know what you're doing, again. If you know what you're doing, yeah. But introducing sync issues, or generally problems, can produce some very unexpected results, and sometimes mu making music is about the inspiration you get from something accidental rather than planning everything meticulously. So do you work that into some assignment sometimes, how to mess, how to mess something up? No, we try not to. <laughs> we work into the assignment how to solve the problems, but obviously you could reverse engineer that and mm. make something creative. Have you ever, ever had a student do something really wrong that ended up sounding really great? Um, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, a lot of the creative students um, tend to push the boundaries and mm -hmm. try to find out what they can do wrong, quote-unquote, mm -hmm. to actually get an interesting result. But it's much better to obviously, you understand why you're doing it wrong, exactly what is going on. Yes, that's wrong. the ideal case. <laughs>